Welcome to the Long Dog Wool Stitch Tutorial on how to crochet a bobble stitch. Bobbles add visual interest to anything you're crocheting. What I have here is a cotton dishcloth where the bobble has been used to create a heart in the middle. They pop out from the background. There are two types, a three stitch bobble and a five stitch bobble, and I'll be teaching you both in this tutorial. I've already done my foundation, so if you haven't done yours, um, this is a, a good time to pause the video and do it. I've done 13 chain stitches, and then starting in the second chain from the hook, I've done 12 single crochets coming back. So you can pause this now and do that if you haven't, and then play again uh, when you've got your foundation. So 12 stitches. Then you've done your turning chain, and you turn. So this is the front of the fabric, and this is the back or wrong side of the fabric. And I'm going to do our bobble stitches as we do the wrong side. You'll see why in a minute. I'm going to do two single crochets in the first two stitches just to give me some working room. And then we're going to start the bobble. Now, if you can do a double crochet, you can do a bobble. So you start it the same as you would a double crochet. Yarn over, insert your hook into the stitch, yarn over again and pull up that loop. So now you have three loops on the hook. You yarn over and pull through the first two only. Now if you were doing a double crochet you would finish that off, but for the bobble we're going to keep going. You leave those two loops on the hook and you repeat that step twice more. So yarn over into the same stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop, yarn over and draw through just the first two loops. And then one more time, yarn over into the same stitch, yarn over and draw up that loop, yarn over and through the first two loops only, so you have four stitches on your hook. For a three stitch bobble, you want four loops on your hook. Now, you yarn over and you pull it through all four, just like that. And the next thing you do is a single crochet in the next stitch, which will help that bobble pop. Now I'm going to loosen that and turn it around and show you. You have a three stitch bobble popping out right there. And that's why we do it on the back. You can push it through to the other side, and that's fine if you're working on the front, but usually you work them on the back so they pop out the front and you don't have to push them through. So now I'm going to just do um, another single crochet to give me some space and I'm going to repeat that one more time before I do the five stitch bobble. So yarn over into your stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over and through the first two loops, yarn over into the same loop, uh, stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over and draw through two loops. One more time, yarn over into the same stitch, yarn over and pull up your loop, yarn over and pull through two loops, so you have four loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through all four loops, and single crochet in the next stitch. And now you've got, if you turn it around, two bubbles. Now I'm going to show you a five bubble stitch. So I'm going to just do another couple of single crochets for some working space. Five bubble stitch is the same thing, but you do the insert five times instead of three. Yarn over, insert in your stitch, yarn over, pull up your loop, yarn over and through two loops only, and you do it five times. So that's one, two, I'll go a little slower this time, three, so that's where you'd end if you were doing a three stitch bobble, you do it twice more for a five stitch, four, and around again, and through five. So now you have six loops on your hook, six. So yarn over and pull through all six. Give it a little tug, and don't forget you must do the single crochet in the very next stitch to anchor it. I'm, gonna do, I'm just going to finish that row with one more single crochet. 
very thick yarn, and a chain for turning. I'm going to turn it around and show you. So there's your three stitch bobble and there's your five stitch bobble. You can see that it pokes out quite a bit more. Now the last step is the row coming back, you have to single crochet across the row. You can't do another row of baubles even if you're going to push them out. You, you've got to have that single crochet row in between rows of baubles. So I've done my turning chain. I'm going to just single crochet in each stitch across. Make sure not to miss the one next to the bobble, which it now may be hiding. And when you do, come to do the single crochet on the bobble, it's this top stitch right here. It's not here or here. It's this top stitch right here. So you go, it's the one furthest back and closest to the top. So you insert your hook in there, yarn over, yarn over and pull through. Single crochet at the top of the bobble. And then the stitch right next to it. And the next stitch, these are just single crochets, simple single crochets. And don't forget to do the one right next to the bobble that the bobble may be hiding. So sometimes you have to count your stitches when you're just beginning. And again, we're going to go into the top of the bobble. So if you look, this top furthest back in there through both loops, that's the stitch that you draw your yarn through. That's your single crochet on top of the bobble. And next to it, and next to it, and again, look for the one top back, right there. That's your single crochet. And next to it, and the last one in the row. So there you go. Now you can, on your next pass, do another row. And the baubles can be right on top, they can be next to it, between it. And if you're good with graph paper, you can create any sort of shape with them or use them to add any sort of pop and visual interest. So there's your bobble stitch.